All right, guys, we're back in that position. You know, it's kind of like right here at the beginning of June. We're 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 almost approaching. Um, we're almost approaching that that time period where if uh, if Planet Zoo has not become really really low on your radar, has kind of died off. Um, we're getting really, really close to it now. But I think there is a little bit of hope for us, particularly it's a good thing and it's a bad thing. One of the bad things is what I think is going to help cause more transparency and more open communication for us Planet Zoo players is unfortunately the botched rollout of the Elite Dangerous Odyssey update that just came out. It was it was actually de definitely definitely pretty wonky, pretty botched. Enough so that the CEO of Frontier actually came out and had a public apology and tweeted about it and actually stated um, in one of the tweets that a Elite Odyssey, Elite Dangerous Odyssey roadmap uh, would be coming and uh, you know kind of like letting everybody know what they're planning on doing to fix it and you know kind of move on into the further updates and and kind of what they have planned for that and I like to coincide that point with the point of if you follow a lot of Frontier people they are moving back into the office now the restrictions are lifting everybody's coming back uh, my buddy Dahlia she is the influence her manager she literally just said last week she took her now you know she's worked for frontier for i think almost five or six months now she literally just took her first train ride into the frontier office so as of last week they're back in there together and i'm thinking they can kind of use i'm hoping they use a little bit of the Odyssey fiasco and maybe it, you know, kind of, you know, verberates out into the rest of their games and maybe we'll see more things like open road maps and just, I think what Drew and Lion Rider and Leaf can agree with me on is um, just toning down the secrecy essentially and i think that is just um that is what we're looking forward to going into this new era of um you know kind of the post pandemic restructuring um and and hopefully with that the transparency um kind of makes itself known and i think you know even even with even with you know a bad situation like uh, like that happened with odyssey and even frontiers stock you know, taking a plummet, taking a really, really big hit with this. Um, I think in the long run, maybe, just maybe, this could kind of be sort of a little kick in the pants that Frontier needed to say that, to show them that like, okay, maybe we're going to have to change up a little bit of the way we do this communication and not go on these um, these long hiatuses of non-information, um, non-consequential tweets. Like, you know, how we make fun of the of the animal poop tweets. You know, it's not really animal poop when we say that, but it's stuff like, did you know a bearded dragon doesn't have to drink for up to six months? I mean, it's just little weird stuff like that that hardly anybody cares about. I mean, the hardcore zoo nerds care about it, but I'm just talking about Hopefully, we're going to reach that point this summer where the sharing is more substantial, is what we're saying. And we're, we're not going into shutdown mode every three months, essentially. Like, you know, we, we basically, we have a DLC. The DLC drops. They go ham for like a week, like seven, nine days and then it all shuts down for three months. You literally don't hear anything but these little weird monthly roundups that like, probably nobody reads but like, you know, nerds like me and Drew, maybe a couple of you out there, but it's just the, the 90 days of silence that happens. And we're in one right now, whether you know it or not, it's May 30th. You're in, an, in, you're in a frontier information drought right now. And um, hopefully we we did we did get a little bit of a of a of, of a little teaser as far as the Steam database being updated, but it's kind of like Drew and, and Lion Rider were saying, don't let that get you too excited. That could just be a regular type of update coming. Um, I, normally, I wouldn't say that because typically those little spots are reserved for DLC only. 
Um, so I'm saying maybe in the next couple weeks, we can, I, I'll tell you like this, I wouldn't be surprised, like I wouldn't fall out of my chair if we get some kind of announcement in the next couple weeks. Um, it, maybe even the announcements of like maybe community live streams are going to start again. Um, now that they're back into the office, they'll kind of dust the cameras off, uh, you know, dust the, uh, dust the old webcams off and get the rigs going. And, uh, and maybe start giving us some live streams again. I personally would love to see some dev vlogs happen again. Like, show us what's going on. Even if we already know and, you know, Lion Rider and them think that it's probably a North Africa pack that's coming. Um, give us some little tidbits on on how you designed the meerkats or, you know, the white rhinos. Like, let us in on the little, kind of like the things, you know, I've been playing right now, like when the game first dropped. We absolutely just, we ate up these little dev vlogs like this. Really, really cool stuff to kind of to kind of jump in on and um, and kind of just feel like we're we're in the know a little bit, but definitely you know I think I think the one of the reasons that one of me that prompted me to make this video I know I'm really hands off with Planet Zoo right now I'm just really kind of bored even with Lost Creek I don't Leaf has me working on like a little secret project I haven't even really touched it yet um, I, I I honestly haven't logged into Planet Zoo in probably twenty. 21, 22 days. It had to be at the beginning of May, probably around May 4th was the last time I ever even logged in. But one of the um, the really, really interesting video, and I'm going to link it down below, and, and I was telling Lion Rider and Leaf and Drew that this guy always puts it so much more eloquently than we do. But um, Obsidian Ant just put out a video. He is a big, um, you know, MMORPG space guy, Microsoft Flight Sim guy. Loves, love these type of games. And the title of his video is Frontier Needs to Change Its Approach. Thoughts on the upcoming roadmap. And a lot of the points he was making in there, I even messaged Drew and, and Nick and them, and I'm like, dude, you what, what Obsidian Ant just so eloquently put, you guys have been saying for years. <laughs> like, your Drew has been saying these exact points, but it was such a well-edited and just well-thought-out um, scripted video. I wish I could do scripts like that. Um, it just, it lays out, I think, um, a little bit of optimism with a little bit of apprehension. Like the whole time I was listening to it, I'm like, Ant, this is, uh, this is frontier you're talking about here. The, the openness and the transparency is not necessarily their forte, uh, these last few years, but he lays out a bunch of good points. I'm still... Um, I'm still pumped to see what the next Planet Zoo DLC is. Don't take my not playing the game as in not interested in what Frontier has going on or anything like that. I'm just personally, um, I, it's like I tweeted out a couple days ago. I told the zoo nerds, I told Linda and all of them, I'm like, I'm happy for you guys. I was like, Kanye, I'm happy for you, but let me, let me speak a minute. <laughs> um, this is not going to hold us content creators over long. And I think you're, you're kind of in the middle of that right now. Um, Simply Savannah with, uh, you know, she's still got some good little projects going on. Um, but the vast majority of us, I just, uh, the content has really, it's really hit a drought right now. And I think it's just, we've not had a lot to feed off of um, when it came to not getting scenery and only getting those eight animals. And I remember telling people, I'm like, this is great for the animal people, but this is going to come at a price. Um, I am not going to be able to keep up with six months of no new scenery. Um, and, you know, I, I just think that... Um, that as far as, uh, as far, well, when I say six months, I remember like essentially we got new scenery, um, you know, at three months before the Southeast Asia pack came out. So you've got that scenery. So that's three months. And, you know, well, you're usually ready for something new by the end of that three months. Well, then the Southeast Asia pack came out, no new scenery, and we're going another three months. So when I say six months, I basically mean half a year without any new, new scenery. I mean, you can count it as three months, but I'm just saying at the end of that, you know, it's, it's basically, it'll be six months 
before we, you know, essentially get new, new scenery um, that, that, that we can get our hands on. Um, so I just think that um, that is, uh, that is uh, was a letdown for me personally you know they, they were really still cool they gave me early access they even let me build a uh, they let me build a habitat for the for the launch which was really really cool but on a personal note with trying to keep projects going trying to keep designs going trying to keep imagination flowing um i am just planet zoo done right now i just can't think of uh I, I just can't think of anything new to add to the story right now. And hopefully with whatever comes with this Africa pack or whatever they decide to roll out to us next, um, you know, even if it's 120, 150, whatever, 170 new pieces, um, I'm, I'm hoping that kind of jump starts me again. And that can lead to a longer variation of Lost Creek episodes and maybe little one-off builds, um, you know. But like I said, we'll just kind of have to see. But yeah, definitely just wanted to jump on here and give you my little thoughts um, on this and on the communication and kind of, you know, wondering if going back into the office, the communication may, it may enter a revamp. Because I know one of the things Drew will probably comment on this, he'll be like, well, that's all fine and good, dude, but you didn't you don't remember they were like this pre-pandemic like it was quite this didn't just happen because of 2020 and i'll concede that point to drew but one thing we didn't have in 2020 and before is a really massively botched rollout like they're experiencing and they're trying to wrangle with elite dangerous i mean even a public apology coming from David Braben, um, very, very unheard of, usually never, ever happens. Um, but at the same time, Drew will also say, dude, Elite Dangerous is their baby. Like, they've been, they've been designed, <laughs> they've had iterations of that game since the 80s. So if they botch a Planet Zoo launch, who cares? It's, you know, no big deal. But they botched the baby. They botched elite dangerous the the real frontier juggernaut um and so that that th that's why i'm saying we are in a really really I interesting transitional period here where they they are on the cusp of being able to change out their communication culture like this is the stars are aligning for a commute for a cultural shift at frontier if they want it to go down like this you know i mean let's just be honest the the botching of a two-year development um it doesn't happen often you know and like obsidian ant was saying this may be the perfect opportunity to change some things around and um you know I, another thing um I was looking at um, that I thought was just a really, really neat idea that Obsidian brought up as far as what Frontier could do if they wanted to copy a version of Microsoft Flight Simulator and do a, um, a feedback snapshot. And basically, it would be integrating their tracker, you know, that they just track the bugs with. But it also, what Microsoft Flight Simulator does is they add in a top wishes column and it's basically a centralized program that the devs could look at the community managers could look at and it is a uh, it's in it's an all-in-one tracker of the community's top wishes so no more kind of having to troll through twitter the forums instagram facebook it is an actual built-in feedback snapshot and uh, I just think that would just be a killer, killer platform for Frontier to try to utilize going forward. I mean, maybe even, I mean, I know they've got us zoo nerds and the theme park nerds with Planet Coaster, but um, really, they, they could they could really make some good progress, maybe introducing something like that with... Uh, with with elite dangerous but anyways guys that is just my uh that is just my take on this i watched that obsidian ant video and he really kind of got me pumped to get in here and chat with you guys a little bit of course we'll stay up on the dlc news and we'll kind of see what happens with that but um it's like nick and them said we're pretty sure that's going to be a north africa african pack but um if i hear anything i'll let you guys know or if we see any kind of new developments happening but 
Whoa, it is not all dark. It is not all gray. Um, I am still here. As a matter of fact, I, I know I've just kind of fell off the radar a little bit on you guys, but uh, me and uh, Casey, my wife, we had our gender reveal party yesterday, so I am going to have a little girl. She'll be here in November, so that will be little Miss Emma. Um, so yeah, we can start planning now and I'm feel a little less pressure now that that's over and we can start focusing on, okay, this is a girl that's not, you know, it's not a toss up anymore. We can kind of plan and buy stuff for, for a little girl. So that is uh, that is really, really, really interesting, fun stuff happening in my, on the personal side of things. And hopefully I can kind of start getting you guys some videos going again and we'll get in here and we'll still do some more black ops and, and stuff like that. But, um, yeah, I'll just keep my ear my ear to the ground and see if I can find any DLC information for you guys and uh, yep I will catch you guys in the next video let me know what your top wishes are and if you think a feedback snapshot uh, tool would be an awesome way for Frontier to kind of uh, to kind of uh, harp and, and, and listen in on our wishes so anyways guys don't forget to smash the like button if you ended up enjoying this video subscribe to keep up with more S Dan Wolf content and I will catch you guys in the next video. Thank you. See ya.